Hi, we're back for our third and final offer. This offer is an Elvis musical, Memphis and New Orleans trip and a seven day Caribbean cruise. So it's pulling out all the stops, isn't it? Again, something a little bit different. I keep on saying that every week. Everything I do is different. I don't do... That's the good thing about do, it. ...do the normal. And I'm actually known in the industry as one of the pioneers. I put aspirational journeys and trips together. And obviously, we've had the Alaska one a few weeks ago. Generally, people now copy me because I'm very good at what I actually do. <laughs> and this, again, is one of mine. Um, this came about around about four years ago. I met a guy called Alvin. Hi, Alvin, <laughs> who is... Shout out to Alvin. <laughs> shout out to Alvin, who is an Elvis tribute. I wouldn't say impersonator. He's an Elvis tribute. I personally can't stand Elvis. <sighs> but he's growing on me. But I got I dragged down the pub. I'm going to, for your safety, you did not say that. Elvis's life. I got dragged down the pub, and uh, Alvin was performing. And he was brilliant. He was very funny. Actually told jokes that I ha actually hadn't heard before. Great singer, great entertainer, and I've always had an idea that I wanted to do an Elvis cruise. So I've done an Elvis cruise with him, and we put this package together, which we now roll out every, every year as well. And it's one of my best sellers. It does very, very well for us. So this, this holiday, we start with flying you into Memphis. The flights will be indirect. There are no direct service. So I'm telling you, you are going to be going via an American gateway invariably, maybe New York, Atlanta. So you then fly in, into Memphis. Where well, you can have three nights. Three nights at the Heartbreak Hotel. Very nice. And you can also walk in the footsteps of the king himself. Down at Graceland. We use the Heartbreak Hotel because it's literally 200 yards away from Elvis's house, Graceland's, OK? Oh. Including the price, we also put free Greece Graceland tickets. So when you arrive, you can literally just walk down there and get yourself in. It's around, it's around about a five-hour tour, so there's quite a lot to see and do. Other things to do in Memphis, you wouldn't believe this, is the Martin Luther King Museum, which is in the hotel where he was assassinated. And also you can go to Sun Studio, where Elvis, yeah, that. St where Elvis used to record. And you can still go in there and make, make music. Let's go make a CD. I've heard you sing. and I, I am an amazing singer, OK? I'm really bad. No, maybe not. I'm thinking, <laughs> you can be the backup singer. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm awful. So obviously, three days there. The good thing about Memphis is obviously music. Yes, home of music. Home of music. So you've got Bill Street. Is it Bill Street? I think it is Bill Street. Yeah. It's Bill Street. We can go yeah, down. Bill Street. We can yeah. go down in, in the evenings. There's lots of bars, lots of live um, music going on. So, loads so, of jazz. Bars. Loads of loads of jazz, loads of blues. It is blues is my favourite. Is it like a bit of blues, do you? Yeah. So great music. So you've got three days there. Then after you early on the fourth morning, we're gonna get you get on a train. But a really nice train, like, it's not, a, it's not a horrible train. <laughs> it's a working train, it's Amtrak. It's for an eight hour journey from Memphis down to New Orleans, that's included in the price. Um, follows the Mississippi, so the scenery is quite nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, we are based on standard seats, you've got to appreciate it is a working class train. If you want to upgrade to first class, we can do so. And it's around about an extra 35 to 40 pound per person. If you really want to push the boat out, you can have your own private roomette as well. That's around about an extra 100 pound per person, so your own private room, which will take you down. So cool. To New Orleans. So cool. So once we get to New Orleans? Yeah, when you get to New Orleans. We have three nights. So th loads of things to do in New Orleans. Yeah. The main area is... The French Quarter. Is the French Quarter. We've got Bourbon Street. So again, lots of music, lots of great places to eat. Just really atmosphery here. I would say it's a bit like Covent Garden in the sun. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good way so to describe it. You never it. know what's going to be around the corner next. Yeah. But obviously, New Orleans has quite a bit of history as well. One of, the, one of the things a lot of people do nowadays is they do the Hurricane Katrina tour. So after the, the, the disaster around about 10 years ago, they have a tour. And to be honest with you, there's still quite a lot of New Orleans which hasn't been built up and, and, and repaired. So you, you can see how one part is all glam and glitz and tourists, and the other part is there's still people living in squalor, which is horrible to say, but you can see behind the scenes. Yeah. A lot of other people also will do a jazz cruise down the Mississippi on a paddle steamer. I generally do it in the evening, so includes your food, um, a bit of jazz, down, 
down down the Mississippi. Yeah. Uh, that's a great tour to do as well. So, oh. so three nights is a great place there. The hotels we use are generally centrally located with, within half mile to a mile off being off um, Bourbon Street and the French Quarter. If you want to upgrade your hotel, when you speak to me or my guys, we, we can advise where to go and everything else. I would definitely say one place that, to go to was the Jackson Square Park, and it's full of like artists, artists, artists <laughs> that are like painting and drawing and they sell their own art and I just think that's beautiful because obviously these are once in a lifetime scenery that you'll see. Yeah, as I say, kind of a problem, thing we've got is there's lots of different things for different types of people. So obviously you're the younger end, I'm in the middle end and I'm still like a child and we've got the older end. There's things to do for everybody, Everyone, yeah. everybody on this one. If you love music, this is a great, great holiday. And other things if you do want to do, we can add on Nashville as well. So a lot of people want to go to Dollywood so, and, and, and to Nashville. So, I can add that on as well. But the main package we do is a 13-night package where you're away for three nights in Memphis, Amtrak down to New Orleans, three nights in New Orleans, and then a seven-night full ball cruise around the Caribbean. Wait, quickly, we haven't got to Cosmill yet, and Cosmill's my fave. Okay. <laughs> the ship we're going to be putting you on is the Carnival Dream. Carnival is one of my favourite cruise lines. I, I work very closely with them. I was actually out with them on Friday night. I'm out with them again tonight. So <laughs> shout out to my Carnival posse out there as well. Um, the Carnival Dream I've been on, I was on there for New Year a few years ago. It's a great ship, it's quite large, about 125,000 tonnes. With Carnival, it's quite relaxed, fairly informal, but people aren't expected to get dressed up to dinner. Great food, great entertainment, lots of space in the areas around the ship. They have a great um, adults only area to get away from children. Also things to do, if you, if you do want to play, they have a great water park on there as well for adults and kids. I'm a child, as I said, <laughs> I love going down there. There's a sports court, there's a massive gym, there's loads of things to see and do. But my top tip, if you go on the Carnival Dream, go, go in the steak restaurant Fahrenheit 555. Fahrenheit 555, I like 555. that. 555. It is by far one of the best meals I've ever had and it's a $30 cover charge, it might be 35 now. But great food, the highlight for me, is the cheesecake. Oh. I kid you not, it is that big. It is What's the base like though? Is it biscuity or is it more cheesecake? It's more cheesecake. It is the, don't order one each because you'll never eat it. It's absolutely immense. Love it. And as I say, I love carnival. And the thing about this offer, again, it's a great, great price. Yeah. It is, and there's so many places you go to, isn't there? There is, kind of, they have different ports of call, but I know Anushka wants to talk about this one particular itinerary. I just think it's really good that you can put, like, for, especially for like adults as well, £35 at Mr Sancho's and it's all inclusive, all you can eat, and it's on the, on, like, the beach. That's in Cozumel, by the way. So the itinerary, which I'm just going to quickly run through, they do change, but this is one of the main ones. You get to have fun day at sea, as they call it, so lots going on during the day, into Cozumel. Obviously, you want to go to the beach bar, have a few drinks. I don't mind doing that, personally. <laughs> I can recommend another bar called Cosmo Carlos and Charlie's. It's in the main part of Cozumel. Um, you can go in there and uh, then, then you will be swearing on the way back. <laughs> but if you want a little bit of culture, there is a national park. It's around about 10, mi uh, 10 miles outside. It's about a $15 taxi fare. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it's where the dolphins are. Uh. Swim with the dolphins there. It's like a beach club. So there's a beach, there's a swimming pool. You swim with the dolphins. I've done the Royal, Royal Dolphin Swim, which included everything. So that's literally petting them. They'll literally do the nose push. They'll do the dorsal pole. You're in the water for around about 50 minutes. If you book it early, it's around about 60 to 65 pound a person, which that's I think awesome. is fantastically good yeah. value. And we go back to Atlantis. If you want to go swimming with the dolphins in Atlantis, just a shallow in water interaction is around about 120 to 130 pounds. So when you do it in Cozumel, it's, it's cheaper it, and better. Yes, in, in my opinion. The thing where they are going to try and earn their money is selling you to buy the photos. Oh, I'd buy the photos. You always have to buy the photos. Well, you've got to buy the photos. But so obviously, that's Cozumel One Pool. Next one is um, Belize. I was in Belize during the summer. I done something really cool that I'm certain you'll like. Belize is very jungle. And I took my kids. We went to into the jungle and went down cave tubing. <gasps> no way. Kind of, don't worry, it sounds really rough. It's not. It's, it, you just need to have, be able to walk. It's about quarter of a mile to half mile walk through the jungle where you get to the top of the river and then literally you get on this very very gentle on a tube very very gentle you're all harnessed together and they take you through the caves on like a water like like the little dung dumb bit dun Ringos. Ringos. On the Ringos, yeah. <laughs> that, through the Ringos, that's really, really cool. And at the end of it you get out you can have some food. And at the same at the same place also have zip lining as well. Yeah. 
It's, oh, it's amazing. So I took my kids on there. One top tip though is make certain you take some insect repellent. You are in the jungle, they buy it. I still got the bites to prove it. Oh. Next port of call is Mahogany Bay in Ila Rotan, so, which is in Honduras. It's their own private island. You get off, you walk 200 yards, or you can jump on like a ski lift. Don't take the ski lift, it takes forever. And then it's a private beach where you can hire um, chairs. What, another top tip, for literally about an extra $10, you can hire your own private cabana. So you've got your own separate part of the beach. They'll come around and serve you alcohol, which is really, really cool. So it's a total beach day and relaxing. And then it's back to New Orleans for your flight home. I am going to say for your flight home, it is indirect again. There is not a direct flight. So we can fly you from London. We can fly you from Manchester at a supplement. And we also can, at certain times, get you out from our Scottish airports as well. It said Ascot then. I was like, when, where's there an airport in Ascot? There's not an airport in Ascot. <laughs> I know you're from there, Anushka. So I run this all year round. Um, leading price, what do you reckon the leading price is for this, Anushka? I'm not saying because I know. <laughs> okay, leading price, we're doing this at $14.99 per person. Amazing. So that includes your flights indirect into Memphis out of New Orleans, includes three nights at the Heartbreak Hotel. I will say with the Heartbreak Hotel, that is closing, I believe, either end of October or end of November. They are replacing it with a newer hotel. It's a little bit further out, but it's all Elvis themed, and we'll be looking to put you in there. So that's on a bed and breakfast basis. It includes your Amtrak from Memphis down to New Orleans, three nights room only in New Orleans, century located hotel, and then a seven night full board cruise on the Carnival Dream. So we're doing that at 14 99 If you want to go to an outside, it's only an extra 100 pounds, so you can see the glorious weather, or for an extra 200, we can put you in a balcony. These balconies are called cove balconies. They are on the lower part of the ship. They are metal balconies around the fronts and sides. So you can get out there, you can see and get the fresh air. For about an extra 30, 40, we can put you in a glass balcony as well. I'd say 14.99 for an inside, 15.99 for an outside, or 16.99 for a balcony. We have lots of dates. Generally, I could do November, December at those prices. If you want to go slightly different times of year, it is slightly more expensive. It's kind of natural though, isn't it? It is. Right, well thank you very much for those offers. They're no worries. holidays to put in my diary. And thank you all for watching. I can't wait to see you or speak to you again next time. And bye. <laughs>